folks, we are here with Craft Mess Day 5. And we are going to make um, gift card holders. We're going to make two different styles. We're going to make this style that you have a belly band. It just um, a simpler style. And then we're going to make this one, which is like a fold out. And you put your um, gift card right there. Okay. So we're going to make those. We're going to start with this one. And you're going to take, I'm going to use 8.5 by 11 paper. And set that there. And stuff is falling. As always, set that there. We're going to take this cardstock right here. And we're going to cut this piece at 7 and 3 quarter. Seven and three quarter by five inches. Seven and three quarter by five. Okay, so seven and three quarter by five. Then we're going to take this one and we're going to cut an inch. That can an inch off and that will be our belly band. Okay, so set those aside. Then we're going to take our patterned paper and we're going to cut um, four and three quarter, four and three quarter by two and a quarter. And then four and three quarter by one and a half. Whoopsie. Okay. And we're going to cut two of those at one and a half. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to put that to the side, put our paper to the side. And we are going to move this out of the way. We're going to bring in our scoreboard. And we're going to bring our 7 and 3 quarter by 5 piece of paper back. And we're going to score at 2 and a half and 6. So 2 and a half and 6. Okay. I'm going to move that out of the way. We're going to fold and burnish our score lines. Fold and burnish our score lines. Okay. Then I'm going to take a corner rounder and I'm going to round these corners. I found one of my corner rounders. I can't find the other quarter rounder, but this one will work just fine. Round those corners, okay? So we're gonna have something that looks like this. Then we're gonna take these and we're going to round two of the corners. Round two of these corners, okay? And then round this corner. Just two of those corners, okay? So then we're going to stick these down. You can put more tape on yours if you would, you know, if you'd like. I recommend putting more tape on yours. Then we're going to take and just stick that down. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing with these other pieces. Okay. So we're going to put this one on the front like so. And then we're going to put this one 
on the inside top flap. Okay, like a so. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Then I recommend taking, you can either cut a notch out yourself or if you have a circle punch, just um, punch out a little notch. It'll help get the gift card out. Okay, then take either use some wet glue or some sticky strip, some sticky tape, and just put it on the two sides and burnish that down so that it has a good adhesion. Pull that up. You're going to fold this in and burnish that down. Okay, then you're going to take that strip that you cut, that one inch by seven and three quarter strip, and you're going to fold it up and fold it down to make a belly band. I'm going to do one there, one there, and we're going to fold it to make a belly band. Okay? I do recommend that you put your belly band vertical instead of horizontal because it will catch on on your um, flap there. Okay? And then we can decorate this a little bit. Um, we can take, let's see, what do we want to take for this? Do we have any extra paper that we might want to take for this? Um, we could do this. Okay, so the belly band is an inch, so we're going to cut it. We're going to cut our strip at three quarters. So three quarter strip okay. and then it is three and a half long so we're going to cut it at three and a quarter okay so we have that strip for our belly band so we could take this and you can do anything put anything on your belly band. You can make it fancy. I'm just doing like quick little, mainly just um, how to put it together and then you go from there and embellish it however you want. And then that'll go on there like that. And then your gift card slides right in here or money and see with that little, that little um, notch right there, it's easy to pull that out. Okay, so there's that one, and now we'll move on to the next one, which is this one that opens like this and opens like that. Okay, so we're going to need another 8.5 by 11 piece of paper, and we'll just use, we'll do the same colors and all that. Okay. So we're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it at four and a quarter, four and a quarter by ten, four and a quarter by ten, okay, so four and a quarter by ten. We're going to take this. And we're going to cut an inch off of it for our belly band. I like doing inch belly bands most of the time. We're going to cut this to about six and three quarter or so. Okay, move that to the side. Then for our paper, we are going to, I'm just going to use the same paper, we're going to cut it at four. We're going to need the middle inside piece is going to be at four by two and three quarter. So that's the middle inside piece. Okay. The top piece is going to be four 
by one and three quarter. So that's the top piece. Okay. And then the bottom piece is going to be four. This is the this is the um, outside bottom piece. It's going to be four by two and three quarter, but you're going to go one notch before the two and three quarter. Okay, you'll see why in a minute. Then we need another piece, a white piece for your sentiment, and it's going to be four. It's going to be that same size, four by two and three quarter, the notch right before two and three quarter. Okay. People like that better than me saying, um, you know, the 16th or whatever. So now we're gonna take our four and a quarter by 10 and we're going to score it at two, five, six, and seven. Okay. Two, five, six, and seven. And then we're going to start folding. We're going to fold, burnish those score lines, fold, burnish the score lines, fold, burnish the score lines, fold. Burnish the score lines. Fold. Burnish the score lines. Okay. Then you're going to have something that looks like this. Okay. So it looks like this. All right. That's what you want. Okay. The piece that's the bottom, you need to trim just a sliver of it off. It'll help it close. And you're not going to cut much at all, just a little bit, like sixteenth, not even a sixteenth, maybe just a little, little bit, okay? So you're going to cut that off. So then, this is what you have, and it's like this, okay? This is the front. You're going to flip it over to the back, and you're going to put strip. You want to leave this, you know, open. So you want to go adhesive here, here, and here, okay? You want to leave that center, that center piece open. You don't want to put any adhesion there at all, okay? So you do that, go over like so, and then make sure you burnish it down good. So that it sticks so it's easier to pull up the tape okay so you're gonna do that and then you're gonna fold it over okay. burnish it down so it sticks okay and then you have something that looks like this okay so then the inside will um, we're going to do the bottom inside first. So you will need, this is where you need your white piece of paper because this is where you're going to put your sentiment, your little note, whatever, whatever you, um, but let's go ahead and round these corners too. Why not? Right? I like, I like rounded corners. So let's go ahead and round them. Okay, so you're going to have to round just one. Oops. One. <laughs> Works good if you already have the sticky stuff on it. <laughs> round one of, I mean, two of these corners, not all four, okay? And then stick that down. All right. Then we have this piece here for the middle. So we're going to stick this piece down in the middle. Okay, stick that down in the middle. 
Then we have this piece for the front. You need to round two of those corners. You need to round two of those. Then we're going to stick it down in the front. Okay. Then we're going to do this one. Now this is where you need to be aware of your um, patterned paper and the direction if you round the corners because you want to make sure you do it correctly. So I always fold it up, look at it, then round the corners and I look at it again if I don't round the corners before I stick it down because I want to make sure that it's the right way. Okay, And then I always just flip it to Okay, you could put one on the back if you want. You could put one here if you want. Okay, I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, the last step for this part is take your trimmer, because you've got to open that up. <clears throat> take your trimmer and just take a little sliver off to open that up so that your gift card can go in there. Okay. So now we have this. I'm going to close it up and do the belly band. Okay. So the belly band, which we cut at six and three quarter by one inch. Okay. I'm going to take it, fold it up. Don't try to get it a little more centered than that, Shannon. Fold it up, fold it down, open. You are going to take sticky tape and we're going to fold it, get as straight as you can get it. Okay, Take it, flip it over, then you're going to get a piece of paper that is three quarter, which this is, by two and three quarter. back, flip this over, take this, and stick it down. Again, th I'm just putting something on here. You can do whatever you want. Uh, usually I do a, I have a stamp, and I do a two from right there, okay? So then, your gift card fits right in there closes it up, put, put your belly band on, and there you go. You have two easy peasy gift card holders. So you can, you can make these, and a lot of people uh, make these without the gift cards in them. But they'll make them for people who give gift cards a lot. So they'll make them, you know, a pack of them, whatever, how many ever. And um, then just give them the holders, the homemade holders. And then that way they can do their own gift cards. Like if they give a bunch of gift cards to people, um, then they have homemade gift cards, holders to um, put their gift cards in. So, there's day five. I will see y'all tomorrow for day six. And I hope that um, you are having a great weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.